Hi there, it's Olga. Today I'll be creating a layout using my paper craft supplies and some real food. I'm going to use a wooden serving tray that measures about 12 by 17 inches. This will be the base for my layout. Then I have to trim a large sheet of thick drawing paper to fit into my tray. You can get this kind of paper at any art supply store. Now I will set my tray aside and work on the paper mat to create the layout. I'll start with these two die sets. They are pierced nesting round dies by Rock Stamps and plate and cutlery by Magnolia. I've die cut the largest circle and uh, three plates. I am arranging these elements on my tray mat and I'm marking their placement with a pencil. The supplies I'm using are listed on my blog with pictures and links to online stores. You can find the link in the description below the video. Now I am pressing Hickory Smoke Distress Ink Pad onto the plastic bag, then I'm spritzing it with water and I'm transferring the ink onto the project using this plastic bag as a stamp. This is the quick and simple way to create splatter effect, even on large areas like the one I have here. I am repeating this process to add more splatters and then I'll be using the heat tool to speed up the drying. This die is called Integrated Rectangles, it's by Gumia Pan, a Swedish producer. I will need 5 die cuts for this project and I have used the black pepper again. Then I'm going to apply some liquid glue onto the image at the wrong side and simply stick the images randomly onto my tray mat. I like to use a large acrylic block to hold the die cuts down to make sure they stick all over. You can also trim the images to make uh, smaller groups of rectangles. This stamp is worn burlap texture, also by Gumia Pan. I'm going to stamp it randomly all over the project. I'm using permanent black ink for stamping. Now I can attach all the die cuts that I have shown you at the beginning. I like using quick drying tacky glue, but any type of adhesive will work. And I couldn't resist using those cute little knives and forks too. I've taken them out of silver mirror cardstock and I'm simply sticking them by the plates where they belong. Those tiny yellow roses are actually leftovers from one of my previous projects. I'll put a link in the description in case you want to know how to make them. But you can totally use um, store-bought paper flowers or any other yellow embellishments like buttons, for instance.
So I have attached the roses with the hot glue and now I'm as a finishing touch I will also add some black sequins. The glue I have in this needle applicator bottle is Ranger Multimedia Matte. You can see how the sequins and the cutlery are twinkling. Now the mat is finished and I can place it into the tray. Before I place all the real food elements onto the layout, I'm going to decorate this coffee cup. So I'm sticking a strip of black and white washi tape around it. A nice thing about washi tape is that I can easily remove it whenever I want to and it will leave no sticky residue. So let's set the tray now. I'm placing a saucer on top of a large circle, then comes a cup of black coffee and some bright yellow macarons on top of little black plates. And here is a cup of coffee served by a paper crafter. Thank you for watching this tutorial till the end and if you would like to see more just click on any picture to watch the video. Have a wonderful day and I hope to see you again soon!